this video, we will explore three different methods for flashing the ESP32 microcontroller on your Flipper Zero. We will examine this approach and you will be able to determine the most suitable method that aligns with your preferences and the equipment you have at your disposal. So let's jump right in and explore the options. Before we begin, let's take a moment to review the three main steps required to flash the ESP32. The first step is to establish a connection, either via the USB, if a port is available on your chip. And here, my chip is soldered on a board. And this one is a micro USB port, so you could use this one. Either you could use Dupont cable and plug it to the pins. So you will need to connect to the power, the ground, takes an RX pin. And this connection will allow communication between your computer and the ESP32. Once you have your cable connected correctly and the ESP powered on, the next step is to put the ESP into flashing mode. This is typically done by following a specific sequence with like the two buttons here. Here are reset and boot. Usually I keep both pressed and I plug the cable. Once it's done, I release the reset and then wait should be like a, a LED light and then I release the boot one. But I strongly advise you to refer to your documentation or search for instructions specific to your ESP32 board model. Each board might have different methods such as pressing a particular sequence or even like pins if you don't have button on your board. And for this, usually down below, like you have the model and you could just Google it. Once the ESP is plugged in and set in flashing mode, we can proceed with the flashing process. However, before we begin, it's important to have the specific file ready. This file includes a bootloader, which act as a system starter, the partitions, which organize the memory and last but not least, the firmware, which contains the program instruction. Now we have summarized the ESP32 flashing process. Let's explore the three different way we can flash our Wi-Fi dev board and the ESP module. If the USB port is available, Thankfully, the flashing process become easy. So here, like we've seen before, there is micro USB port. On the Wi-Fi dev board module, there is USB-C. So you need to prepare your cable and connect them to your PC. Then set the board into flashing mode and flash the board with a dedicated flashing tool or scripts that are designed for the board or different project available. As mentioned earlier, an alternative method to flash the board is by utilizing the RX and take pin for communication instead of the USB. But for that, it will require a USB to serial converter which can be a dedicated device, which I have here. It's a device from Reacts, but you could use whatever device you, you actually want. This one have different settings and the five volt and the 3.3 volt, so it's pretty handy. But here we have the Flipper Zero, so don't worry if you don't have any USB to serial you don't need to buy anything else. You could use the Flipper Zero with the GPIO function 
and goes into USB to UART bridge. I have covered this topic in detail in another video and you could find the link to it in the top right corner. Xerox Chocolate has developed the Flipper Zero ESP flasher. So once you have the file you want to flash on your microSD, you could use the Flipper Zero as a standalone device. You could flash ESP board on the go and you don't need a computer anymore. You could do that in a bus, in a plane, you name it. Like for any other application, you just need to install it or download a custom firmware that already integrates the ESP flasher. Me, I have already downloaded and installed the Unleashed firmware and I have copied an already compiled version of the ESP flasher, which I'm going to run right now. This is a call for action. So let's flash an ESP board. Here we have attached the Wi-Fi dev board module for the Flipper Zero. And thankfully there are already all the different files you need to use here and flash on the Flipper Zero ESP flasher GitHub. So I invite you to take that offline and copy all the files so you could see what is going on when you flash it right now in this video. So here I'm going to do the step for one file so you could see basically you have access to the file explorer and you could see all the folder you have on your micro SD. So here I'm going to browse and select the file that is associated with the bootloader. I have spared you all the click and selecting of each file here for the ESP32 model version. So I'm now going to hit flash. Okay, so the board is flash node and I'm going to reset it manually using the reset button. And here we go, we could see just call me Coco, thanks to him. Here we have another awesome project the so ESP32 model is flashed into this board. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned.